This was one of those cheaper than Merlot nights at the Blanford residence. My favorite bitch Blank came over and started telling me a story. And then when I told her a story, she started crying her eyeballs out. Not that I blame her. It was a sad story about my psyche. We did magic mushrooms. We both thought we were ghosts. Oh, totally galactic. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's so active. Oh my god. I mean, and then what was he gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, was he gonna come after me or what? So then, that's why I was thinking, you know, restrain order, hello, you know. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with them sometimes? It's ridiculous. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I can't, I just can't believe it, you know. Like, why would he even do that? I know. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're saying. I was not even thinking of exactly what you're saying. Like, what? What goes through that? That's why. It's absurd. That's why I'm thinking, you know. That's why I'm saying it's totally I've seen my being totally asked you, and I always knew it was cheating. Malfunction, they malfunction. I mean, so weird. Yeah, totally, totally, no, totally. So weird. Like, I was totally gonna totally tell him. Oh, it's totally, no, totally. Nuclear meltdown or something. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 Sister, I'm with you. 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 I can't believe you jug. I think you're so kooky. When I told Gwen what Frankie said, she just immediately broke down. After all, I am pregnant with his baby. Can you imagine he'd say that? That bastard talks shit about his own unborn children. Gwen and Frankie had been an item a long time ago. Clem. <laughs> At least she had sense to leave the bastard. Sure, I told you I'd have some wine. Pour me a glass, bitch. Be patient. I'm gonna bring you put your glass of wine, bitch. Here's your wine. Well, thank you, bitch. You're welcome. Frankie was mean to you. He was such a punk ass fuck. I couldn't stand the pig. That's true. Well, don't need to worry about it. Frankie slept with half the sailors on the West Coast. <laughs> you know, it's men like that that end up getting put away for life. Yeah, that was my baby. He wasn't perfect, but he was my Frankie. Yes, of course I know what you're saying. Of course I do. You just be careful how you talk about my Frankie, that's all. Whoa, whoa, start it. Start the revolution. Girls coming out tonight, tonight, it's the night of the revolution. Ooh, baby, it's gonna start now. <laughs> you remember that one? Oh yeah. <laughs> the girls coming out tonight, gonna start the revolution. You know, we were sent to collections by a dentist that you chose. I fucking hate his ass. Wish you never hired him. How the fuck am I gonna pay that shit? I don't fucking know. Give me a fucking break. I'm not gonna pay it. Because I'm selling you. I'm not paying it. Ah! Ah! God, there it is again! Oh, that tooth! Oh! God! Ow! 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 Oh! God damn!
damn it. Oh, that hurts. Oh, God. I swear I gotta do something about this too before it's too late. Oh, every day I feel like you're changing into something else. Something I don't know. Oh. God damn it, bitch. Why couldn't you have found a better dentist? Why do you always have to find the worst everything? The worst dentists and you go to the worst stores and you buy expensive stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I can't stand that you treat me that way. I don't know how much more I can take, really. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not even sure what you're good for anymore. So, think about that for a while. Just you think about that before you go hiring any more dentists. Got it? I'm having a baby. Oh, hi, silly baby. Give me kisses. <laughs>